So you called me. You said you are an entrepreneur that needed a new vehicle that will make you money. But you had less than two million naira to spend. I'm not going to lie. It was a difficult task. But here I am for you. In Nigeria today, this keke cost 1.6 million naira averagely. That's the price for a Nigerian used Honda Accord iRobot. Why does the tricycle cost this much? And how does it work? My name is Botileke, and today we'll be breaking down this keke napet. A little history. The very first time these tricycles were in Nigeria, they were brought into the country by the then military governor of Lagos State, Boba Mara. Hence the name, Keke Mara. It slowly began to fade away until former president Olusegun Obasanjo brought them back in under the poverty alleviation scheme, NAPEP. They were brought in for people that were interested in joining the commercial um, transport sector as a way of alleviating poverty. And since then, they become national symbols. A lot of big boys and girls know to be seen inside the Keke. But then when you go to countries like India, you realize that it's part of the tourist attraction. The Keke is very beautiful to look at because it has its own special aesthetics. You know, it's somewhere between a bike and a car. But then once you get into it, you realize it's nothing like a car. You think this is the handbrake, but this is what starts the two-stroke petrol engine, just like the one you find in the Okada. Only that this one, is out in the back and it's bigger. Driving in the Keke is a bit technical because it's like driving a manual car, unlike driving the Okada. Your leg doesn't do anything, the hand is what does all the work. There's no steering in the Keke. These handlebars connected to the front tires are the ones that do all the navigating. The start button, the throttle, the brake, the, the horn, everything is connected to these handlebars. So this is more or less the powerhouse of the Keke. You get me? Vroom, vroom, vroom. <laughs> So this keke has an mp3 player that you can connect your phone to and it's surprisingly loud. Normally, this keke was designed to take two people behind and one the driver up front. But then in Nigeria, we take three people behind, one person alongside the driver. But then on some rare occasions where you know you have passengers, but you still find your friend along the way. You know, you can squeeze another one person with the driver in this small space here. You know the keke has a superpower and the fact that they can literally maneuver everywhere. You hardly find these keke in traffic because they are going in and out in the midst of cars. You know, there are some roads that even Okadas cannot apply. Are you surprised to find kekes on those particular roads? So the question is, can you drive this keke as a daily driver? Why not? I mean, it's very cheap. It's easy to maintain. It can go literally anywhere. And it's different from every other vehicle on the road. I think you can. In conclusion, I think the keke is a worthy investment. It's low maintenance and other factors point to the fact that it's a very good entry point. However, for maximum profits on investments, I think it's best driven by the owner. My name is Botileke and this is Tutu for Drive. Please like, share, subscribe. Thank you very much.